Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we are working on Module 1, Lesson 12, and today we're solving multi-step word problems using the standard addition algorithm modeled with tape diagrams, and we are assessing the reasonableness of our answers by using rounding. So that's a lot of different steps. Let's take a look at one problem today, which we will do in full um, as a way of sort of showcasing how we can do each of those things, how we can do addition, how we can use the standard algorithm, how we can use tape diagrams, and how we can assess reasonableness. Let's take a look at one problem. Here's problem number two. Problem number two asks us, on Sunday, 77,098 fans attended a New York Jets game. And can we just say here, it's too bad they weren't Packer fans, because that would have been a lot more fun. The same day, 3,397 more fans attended a New York Giants game than attended the Jets game. Altogether, how many fans attended the games? So we're going to ask answer uh, 2A, which is what is the what was the actual number of fans who attended the games? And then later, we're going to answer in B, is your answer reasonable? Round each number to the nearest thousand to find an estimate of how many fans attended the games. So we need to do some modeling here first to see if we can figure out exactly what we're looking for. So I went ahead and picked uh, picked up the, some Jets colors and some Giants colors so that we could do this in the appropriate colors. And I'm going to say that we have a Jets fan population here that is, let's see, 77,098. It's a little sloppy, but 77,098 fans. Now, for Giants fans, though, Giants to pick colors here for the Giants. The Giants had more fans that attended their game, right? So let's see, let's see, reread and see what we've got here. That same day, 3,397 more fans attended a New York Giants game than attended the Jets game. So we kind of have, the Giants have their regular 77,098, but then they also have this little extra piece, right? And that's 3,397 extras. So they had their 77,098 here, and then they had that little bit of extra there. And so we first need to figure out how many att fans attended the Giants game by adding together these two numbers. And then we're going to figure out the overall total, right, which is, that's the that's the uh, question that we're really looking at. What is the actual number of fans who attended the games? Uh, I'm going to label that with uh, the variable F, which is the total number of fans. So I'm going to go in blue and figure out the Giants first. So that was 77,098 plus 3,397, and we're going to add those two numbers together. Now, we, we do when we do addition, we start with the lowest, the sorry, sorry, the smallest unit. So that's our ones. So eight plus seven ones is fifteen ones. We have a five here, and we record our one on the line. Then we go to the tens place. Nine plus nine plus one is eighteen. Nineteen. So that's nine here. We record a one on the line. Then we go to the hundreds place. 0 plus 3 plus 1 is 4. Nothing to carry over. We've got 7 plus 3 is 10. So that's 0 here. And we mark the 1 on the line. Record the 1 on the line. And finally, we move out to the 10 thousands place where we have 7 plus 1. And that's 8. So it looks like we have 80,495 Giants fans. So that's this number. But now we have to add the Jets fans plus the Giants fans to get us our total. So I'm going to go expand this out a little bit so it gives me a little bit of extra room. So we are going to add together 7,798 plus 80,495 Giants fans to give us a total. I'll switch to black here. Again, we're going to start with our smallest unit. So 8 plus 5 is 13. 3, record the 1 on the line. 9 plus 9 plus 1 is 19. Record the 1 on the line. 0 plus 4 plus 1 is 5. 7 plus 0 is 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. We've got our comma here. So I think our answer is, I'm going to zoom back out a little bit here. I think our answer is that 1,000, I'm sorry, 157,593 fans attended the games. Awesome. So that was our in, our, in action, that was our read, draw, and write strategy. We read the problem, we made our type, type, I'm sorry, our tape diagram drawing, and we wrote our answer. Beautiful. But now let's look at the second part. Is your answer reasonable? Round each number to the nearest 
thousand to figure to find an estimate of how many offense fans attended the game. All right, well, let's see. For the Jets fans, I'm just going to use a J, we had 77,098 fans. And we're going to round that to the nearest thousand. Let's see. The nearest thousand is here, right? So it's so this is 77,000. So it's either going to be 77,000 or 78,000. Well, let's see. If we look to our next place value, our, our hundreds is very low. It's a zero. So that tells us we're going to round down. So that's about 77,000 fans. We'll switch to Giants. Giants fans, you'll remember, we figured that out. That was 80,000. Oops, 80,495. And we're going to round that to the nearest thousand. So we've got 80,000 here. So it's either 80,000 or 81,000. We look to our next unit, our hundreds. That's a four, so that's on the low side. It looks like we're going to round down. So that's 80,000 fans. And if we were to add those two together, 77,000 fans plus 80,000 fans would be 000751, 157,000 fans. And hey, so our estimate came out to 157,000 fans. All right, I kind of wrote this a little poorly. Oops. Um, 157,000 fans was our estimate. Our actual full answer was 157,593. Ah, I'm totally fine, right? Is, so I would say, we have to write for this, but we have to say yes. Our estimate is very close to our answer. Awesome. So that's every part of this problem. Uh, 2A is about doing a tape diagram of our jets, our giants, assigning it a variable of F, figuring out what the giants uh, attendance was, and then doing the addition to figure out our overall attendance. That's F. And our part B is figuring out the reasonableness. So we create estimates, we add those estimates together, and we assess, is our estimate close enough to the real thing? And it is. That's great news. So that's problem number two. You're going to see a bunch of other problems here on your homework tonight. I wish you the best of luck with those, and I wish, you the, I wish you'll return the next time to another episode of Mr. Conghan's Problems. Thanks so much.